Hello and welcome to the JCC Maccabi News. I'm Uptown Dale. And I'm Raquel Goldie. News coming out of Fort Lauderdale where the JCC Maccabi Games and Access starts now. Over 2,200 athletes and coaches have ascended from 64 delegations this year. From all over the United States as well as Argentina, Canada, Great Britain, Israel, Mexico, South Africa, and the Ukraine. Welcome all to Fort Lauderdale. Now let's go live to our field reporter, Rachel, in Sunrise, where the opening ceremony will take place on Monday evening. Thank you, Goldie. I'm here at FLA Live Arena in Sunrise, Florida, home of the Eastern Conference champion, Florida Panthers, and the site for the 2023 JCC Maccabi Games and Access opening ceremony. All the participants will be arriving by 5.30, but there are three things you should know before arriving. One, there are no bags inside the arena. Absolutely no bags. You will be instructed upon arrival where you will leave your game bags. Second, you must wear your credentials and wear your delegation uniform for the parade of athletes. We want you to proudly represent your delegation. And lastly, don't forget your trading pins. You will exchange pins with other athletes during opening ceremony and throughout the week. So don't forget them. But wait, there's more. We've created a special in it to pin it mat for you to place all of your pins. Gotta collect them all. That's happening with over 1,860 participants right here at the Games. Back to you in the studio. As you arrive today at the David Posnick JCC, here's some things you need to know. First, have your JCC Care Sadaka item ready for drop off. Those cakes, those sneakers you brought, we thank you so much. Two, look for your delegation sign with a specific color. It's the same color that's on your bag or on your credentials. Three, now you'll get together and take a delegation picture. And then you pick up some Fort Lauderdale swag that we brought for you. Now four, you'll complete one of the meaningful JCC Cares projects. And lastly, you'll get to meet your host family for the week. And remember, have a great time and use those manners you brought with you. Hey Goldie, I'd like to share with you, not only are we having the Maccabi Games, we have the Axis Games happening here also. We've got 21 teens and young adults with developmental and physical disabilities participating in the Games. We wish you all good luck and a great week. And their events take place on Monday and will conclude on Wednesday with a very special closing ceremony. We are all here to share in this extraordinary week. We encourage all of you to stop by while you're at the JCC to cheer on our Axis athletes. Come join us for the Access Games! Hey Goldie, let's go live to Fun Freddy with the weather report. It's hot. Now back to you. But it is actually crazy hot and humid, so start hydrating now. Drink a ton of water. Dale, tell them more about what they should be looking for to stay hydrated. For example, the pea chart. <laughs> This pea chart right here? Well, peas come in different colors and sizes. There's green peas, yellow peas. The other pea chart, Dale. Oh, my bad. Okay. This is the other pea chart. You need to be mindful of the color of your urine to make sure you are staying hydrated. I have a little rhyme that I'd like to share with you guys. If it's clear, have no fear. But if it's brown, drink it down. That's called bars. It is hot, but Goldie, I'm not wearing sunscreen inside the hockey rink, am I right? I mean, those kids have got it the best. Wow, Dale, I really feel like it's fried Freddy. He's been out in the sun a little too long. Remember to wear sunscreen, and when you aren't on the playing field, find some shade. You too, Freddy. Dale, back to you. It's not only hot here in South Florida, but during these days, you can see some rain. For an official report on the weather, let's go back to Fun Freddy. It might rain, it might not. But either way, drink the water and put on sunscreen. So, with rain comes lightning and thunder. Uh-oh. I know, it's South Florida. Hey, that's why it's extremely important for everyone to follow the advisories. If lightning is in the area, we will hear its alarm sound like this. Seek shelter immediately. And if it's clear, the alarm will sound like this. Now, Dale, as you know, sometimes during sports, there are injuries. Unfortunately. 
But don't worry, we're here for you. Now let's go live to Kid Maccabi so she can tell us where to go when you get an injury. Now what she is trying to say is that Maccabi Medical is located at the JCC Hub in room 135. Doctors will be available all week at your athletic venues and at the evening events. Medical will be open as early as 6 a.m. each morning and you must receive official medical clearance to return to the playing field. There are no exceptions. Now Goldie, let's talk about lost credentials. Good one. Go to Maccabi Central located in Sports and Wellness Lobby of the JCC. Look for the signs. Remember, credentials must be worn at all times, unless participating in competition. Let's go back to Rachel for a live report. If I can offer you some advice, these are long days. So make sure you have a good breakfast. It is very important. When it comes to lunch, all meals will be at the JCC in the Orlov Auditorium and the Litman, right next door to the Orlov. And depending on your team and the sports schedule, you may have a boxed lunch sent to you at your venue in between games. Dinner will be provided on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. You will be having a dinner with your host families on Wednesday. Thank you, Rachel. Now we've given you a lot of information, so let's do a week at a glance. We already mentioned Sunday at the JCC and the procedures and activities until you are introduced to your host family. Monday morning, competition begins for everyone. Be ready and arrive on time and good luck. Monday night, you will have dinner at the JCC unless your coaches give you dinner at your sports site and then you will be transported to FLA Live Arena for opening ceremony. When you pack your bag on Sunday night for Monday morning, please make sure you pack all of your gear for opening ceremony. Check with your coaches to confirm your delegation swag. Now, Dale, what's Tuesday? Actually, it's Tuesday, where the competition continues, and then it's party time. First, you will have dinner at the JCC before being transported for a fun night at Extreme Action Park. There'll be arcade games, there'll be rope courses, laser tag, mini golf, all that stuff. And then you get to meet other athletes from other delegations. And remember, you're in it to pin it. Now on Wednesday, we wear pink. I mean, yes, but no. Access will have their closing events and ceremony. You will enjoy host family night as well and get to know your host families. Have fun. Now on Thursday, congratulations to those of you who have advanced to the medal rounds. For those of you who have not, we've got second sport, which we've renamed Funfetti with Freddy, our weather authority. After a full day of finals and Funfetti with Freddy, get ready for closing ceremonies at NSU. After closing, we'll say goodbye to some of our delegations leaving early Friday morning. They will be spending the night at the JCC. If that's you, make sure you pack on Wednesday night because you're taking your luggage to the JCC on Thursday morning. Starting on Monday, host families will drop off athletes as early as 6.30 a.m. at the JCC Hub or directly at their sports venue. Host families won't be picking you up until after the opening ceremony, so please remember to bring your bag and pack a towel, bathing suit, toiletries, and your delegation uniform for opening ceremony and anything you may need for the entire day. Now, at 7 a.m., buses will begin taking athletes to venues from the JCC. Buses will be running constantly to different locations during the day. Remember, you must wear your credentials on the bus. You will get on the bus as we call load and go system. This by JCC Maccabi definition means you will go with your team and coach and you will meet with the entire delegation once you arrive at FLA Live Arena. Wait, we've got breaking news. Uh, coming to us live from FLA Live Arena is Rachel. How are you going, Rachel? Thanks, guys. I just spoke with the event organizers here at FLA Live Arena. They are telling me that this will be one of the greatest opening ceremonies in the history of JCC Maccabi. So I'm excited for that. They also let me know that all athletes will be picked up at their designated seat location at the conclusion of the opening ceremony by their host families. So again, 
Athletes will be picked up at the conclusion of the opening ceremony by their host families at their designated seats to go back to their home away from home here in South Florida. Remember, don't forget your backpacks and equipment. You will pick them up after the ceremony at the bag drop location at the arena. Back to you. Thanks, Rachel. I'd like to now send the feed directly to Israel. Tel Aviv, da 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 da, Tel Aviv. This is so exciting. Thank you, Goldie. But as you can see, I'm not in Israel. I'm at the JCC here at Fort Lauderdale. I'm the sheriff for the game, Yuval alone. But with you, I'm never alone. Come join me. Let me tell you about hang time. Together, we can do so much. Come to hang time, grab a snack, learn about Israel. Meet a new friend, learn with them about Israel. Come and meet our shlichim and chinchiniot and learn from them about Israel. Enjoy from the AC, charge your phone, a lot of fun activities. See you there, back to you. Okay guys, listen carefully. Our South Florida community is very big. Some of you are staying at host families who live a little further away from their JCC. This means you'll be on a satellite bus and dropped off early in the morning and then get bused here at the JCC hub. Catch some much needed extra sleep in the air conditioned bus and we will see you at the JCC to start your day and head to your games. Your credentials will have a sticker indicating which satellite bus you're on. Okay team, I think we've got a bit more tips and tricks for you and you should be set for a super fun and memorable week. Now, tip one, remind your host families to wash just your uniform each and every night. Be helpful and offer to help out. Remember, everyone brought their manners. Don't forget to use them. Always say thank you. Here's another tip. Fill up your water bottles the night before. Leave it in the fridge so it'll be nice and cold for the next day. According to Freddie, it's gonna be hot. Make sure to drink water all day. You'll stay hydrated and you'll feel great. Now another tip, remember to be kind and have Rachmanis. Mercy and kindness towards everyone during the games. If someone needs your help or some advice, be a friend. Right, Dale? I agree. Remember, we are Juan Maccabi. We hope you've enjoyed the ride and are ready for a good time. Welcome, Welcome to, to the 2023, 2023 Fort Lauderdale Maccabi, Maccabi Games and